What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, represent Pop Potential. Like, check this shit out before we go up in this gym, man. I had something special for you guys to play. I'm gonna use my BBC camera, man. My BBC camera, I spent good money for to get some HD action. Similar to the uh, pump chasing party video, this is the camera I used, okay? Now check it out, man. My brother here forgot to uh, bring the mimic car and the charger. Cameraman supposed to bring the camera shit. So we had some miscommunication. Ain't uh, hey, 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 miscommunication, my nigga. You don't motherfucking uh, say it. <laughs> <laughs> this is why. You can't hire family because family, see, he just said, ain't no miscommunication, nigga. See, a, a regular camera would have been like, sorry, boss, it's okay, I won't let it happen again. Now your brother, your brother go. I'm trying to think of like, <laughs> what's the uh, idea to say, hey, put, you, you, we both agree, you said put this in the bag, right? Who is miscommunication? Where you, where you handing it? Look, where you look, holding look, the bag, right? Look, miscommunication, I clearly said, everything's in the bag, grab the bag and grab the camera. But it's cool though. It's, 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 look, we're gonna make mistakes. We're gonna make mistakes. Luckily, uh, this phone I'm using, my Samsung Edge, is it's a pretty decent camera. I mean, it's not like this motherfucker right here, but it'll get the job done. You feel me? So we got to go up in here. Yeah, we all gonna make mistakes. And mistake, yeah, we all make mistakes. No, mistake number one is not owning up to your mistakes. Yeah, for real. <laughs> like you ain't making a mistake. Yeah, I made a mistake for thinking he was gonna do a good job, and uh, you made a mistake for that grabbing the camera. <laughs> I keep forgetting, you're not a professional fucking cameraman, so you gotta make mistakes. Like even like like my first video, it not was bringing a fucking camera. Yeah, sure. bringing a uh, camera. Uh, camera. Uh, step step one as a cameraman, get the camera equipment, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> so anyway, um, as you guys know, I'm getting ready to start cutting. I'm probably gonna start cutting in about three weeks, and um. Uh, as you may or may not know, we got a lot of new people. Thank you for the people that are supporting me, that are new. And if you like the channel, like the videos, be sure to like them and share them. They really help me grow. But fuck all that. If you know from my last four cuts I've done on YouTube, I like to do cardio, abs, and calves first thing in the morning, three times a week. So like every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I come in on an empty stomach. I have some BCAs in my water jug. And I do cardio, abs, and calves. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you my routine right now, and I hope you like it. I have like two or three different ab routines I alternate through as I get into my cut. I'm gonna show you one of them, and I'm gonna show you my calves. Now, since I got my own gym now, and it's not crowded, I'm able to superset. So you may not be able to do this if you got a crowded gym, but I'm gonna still show you this shit anyway, just to give you a little insight of what's going on. All right. So let's go over here and fuck shit up. Go ahead and get your zip up jackets and motherfucking jogging pants. Pumpchasers.com, baby. Here we go. Cowboys wallet right here, man. Hey, man. Uh, damn, man. nigga. Niggas, when I motherfucking believe in switching wallets. Hey, fuck that. It holds money, it holds cards. Like it's daddy, nigga. Matters. Daddy ain't paying his wallet since 19. Yeah, I probably get it from my 82. Daddy. Just, just like daddy, man. I like, to, I like to ride shit out till it's worn the fuck out. Right, here we go. So, what I like to do is, guys. Start off and warm up my calves. Toes straight. Just a nice set of 12 to 15. Get some blood into the calves. Warm everything up. Warm up. Warm up. All right. Warm everything up. All right. Keep in mind, I'm not actually gonna work calves and abs today. I'm just showing you the routine. All right. And I won't, now look, check, now check this out right here. I do working sets with 264, all right? I like to keep the rep range between 12 to 15. Why? Because the range of motion is so fucking short. You're not gonna get no real time on the tension doing sets of eight with your calves. Now, for chest, yes, look at this. You got like three seconds down, Three seconds up, you know what I mean? So that's plenty of time of attention. A good set of eight may take you well over 25 to 30 seconds to do that set. That's a great time of attention. But for calves or forearms, look at this. You do a set of eight for forearms, one, two. And look, that's like one second down, one second up. That's nothing. So anything with like real short range of motion like calves and forearms, keep the rest relatively high, like 12 to 15. Maybe even 20. 
But I like 12 to 15. It really helps you give you room to grow. You go too high on the reps, it's really going to be hard to make progress that you can track. you got to track your progress. You know, How do you know if you're getting better if you're never getting any stronger? Eventually, I want to do the whole stack for 12 to 15 reps for my calves, okay? So anyway, warm up again. We're going to do two arm sets. I warm up with like 164, uh, 168, then I go to 200. By the time I get to 200, I'm already warm. Then I do my working sets with uh, the 264. Now look, whole routine is written at the very bottom of the description for the ones that happen to give a fuck. So you happen to give a fuck, scroll to the bottom of the description and look at what I wrote for you. Okay, so here we go. First superset. I never warm up my abs. There's no need to. I already know what I'm going to do. Set to 15. I prefer 20 reps, but mind you, I haven't worked abs in so long, I got to ease back into the ab game. So I'm going to do 15 reps, and I say after about a month, go up to 20 reps a set. All right, so here we go. 15 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, and five. Fifteen. All right. And then what we do is superset right here. So look, two sixty-four. I just did hanging knee raises. Superset with toes out. Cat, look at my toes. They're out. Okay. Superset. One, two. Three. See, I pause. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. That's one set. Hanging knee raises, toes out, calves. Three sets. Now, everything you're gonna see here is three sets only. Now, after about my first month of cutting, I'm taking everything to four sets. Okay. So that's one set. Three sets each and then you do the next superset. Like I said, full routine in the description below. All right, here we go. Superset number two. All right. Bam. Come down here, we're doing cable crunches. Kneeling cable crunches. What you do is, pull it close to your head, bring the rib cage towards the pelvis area. Simple movement. And blow all the air out and vacuum as you come down contract and come back up. Real simple movement. Here we go. 15 reps. All right, 15 reps for abs, but like I told you, after about a month of cutting, I'm gonna do 20 reps. Just gotta ease back into this shit. Don't wanna, you never wanna take a long break from doing any body part and try to train like you never left the fucking gym. Cause you're gonna get sore as fuck. Damn, so sore, you gotta fuck your shit you're damn near about to rip off the board, okay? So always ease back into it. So 15 reps. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. One, two, three, four, and five. And we come straight here, all right? Come straight here, toes forward. We just did toes out for three sets. Now we're doing toes forward for three sets, okay? Toes forward, here we go. One, squeeze, two, three. Toes forward, five, and six, six more, one. All right guys, this right here is gonna be the twist, cable twist. All right, really good exercise for the obliques, but you really have to take your time. Some people, they swing all fast, like they're getting ready to, I don't know, practice for a baseball game and working on their fucking swing. This is not what you're doing here. You're really focusing on twisting at the waist. You keep your arms straight as you can, and you just twist at the waist nice and slow. All right, twist. Really gonna engage those obliques, okay? So you wanna raise this shit right here towards about, you know, chest height. 
That way you ain't got to raise like this. You just want it at a nice comfortable height to where your arms are straight in front of you like this. You don't want your hands up like this, putting a whole bunch of stress on your front delts. You don't want your shit like this. You want it nice and comfortable straight in front of you like that, all right? So everybody's different. If you're a short motherfucker like me, bam. If you're a super tall motherfucker like my boy Big Wheel, bam, you know, common sense, all right? Pull it towards off the rack, see? It's, the stack is off. Get that tension, arms straight. See my feet? I'm facing the mirror. My feet are facing front, all right? You want to twist all the way till you come at the right. Starting here and coming here ain't shit, okay? You want to do a full 180, full 180 degree twist. Start here and bam. Start here and bam. Start here. And bam. Okay? Yeah, one more time. Start here. And bam. I don't this video is meant to be kind of short, so take my word for it. 15 reps each side. I'm gonna go right here too. Look. Make sure you do both sides, okay? How I did left to right. Now we're going right to left. Come off the stain, feet straight, look to the right. And bam, all the way, 180. With a twist. And bam, 15 each side. One more time. Bam, all right? Make sure you keep everything tight. Make sure you breathe. Like that, 15 reps each side, then we come here. All right, we did three sets for our toes out. We did three sets for our toes forward. Now we're gonna do the final three sets with our toes like this, inward. Toes inward, heels outward, okay? One, two, three, inward. four, five, six, seven. All right, homies and homemates. Maybe I'm a little biased, but I like doing at least two lower ab movements when I train my abs. As you know, the upper part of the abs is really easy to develop, I mean, Shit, you could be 12 years old with some of the sickest upper half because you know in PE class, we're doing sit-up contests. Anybody with a decent childhood has done some sit-ups at some time of the day. You've done some sit-ups or some push-ups as a child, okay? So for some reason, upper ab development is always easy to but those lower abs and that shit right there that the women go crazy for, by the way, it's really hard to bring in. So I like doing two lower ab movements. And it actually does hit a little bit of obliques intercoastal area if you actually contract. Get that mind muscle connection, blow that air out, squeeze as you come up. Don't just throw your legs up and down. Engage the mind. See my stomach? Look. Look again. You want to do that as you bring the legs up. Same when you crunch. When you crunch, you look. Do that. When you crunch. That's how you're really gonna engage those abs and really bring in those obliques if you contract properly, okay? There's really no such thing as an ab exercise that's good. It's not like you go to the gym and you do crunches for your upper abs and you're only hitting upper abs. You're still hitting the whole ab area. It's just the starting point of the movement is gonna create more tension in that area. So you know, obviously if you start here and you're coming down, you're creating more tension in the upper part. If you start from the bottom and coming up, like you would from a reverse crunch or a hanging knee raise, you're gonna put more tension on the bottom, but you're still hitting the upper part, you feel me? So, same with obliques, you can hit the whole abs, you just gotta really blow that air out and squeeze, okay? So this is the final superset right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Blow the air, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Then we come straight here, do some seated calf raises. Go straight. Stretch, all the way up. Stretch, all the way up, pause. Stretch, all the way up. Stretch, all the way up. Stretch all the way up. Six, we got six more. One, two, three, four, 
Five and six. Hope y'all enjoyed that video. Just wanted to give y'all a little insight you know, how I'm about to be trained when I start my cut. Also, if you like what I'm wearing, this is the Army Green Grind for Life hoodie. Be sure to go get you 30 of these bitches minimum. Why Army Green? Because we at motherfucking war. We at war being fat. We at war with the hippie bullshit. We at war with everything. What the fuck you gonna do? You gonna stay in the house and hide? Or you gonna join me and fight the good fight? No more titties. Don't forget to like my shit. Comment, subscribe. How about get you? Mm -hmm. Get 30 of them bitches minimum. <laughs>